Welcome to the Delano. Hey guys, we are today here at the Delano, which is connected to the Mandalay Bay. Uh, this is their suite towers, it's called the Delano Suites. This property always, I think, gets overlooked because it is on the very south end of the strip. But we wanted to come down here and uh, book a room, stay a few nights, and give you our thoughts on this uh, property on Mandalay and the room here itself as well. So we checked in to a King Scenic Suite here uh, at the Delano. It's going to consist of a large living room, two, uh, one and a half bath, and a nice separate King bedroom. So let's take a look at it. Okay, so this is going to be our king bedroom, and what we do have here is the panoramic scenic view. Very beautiful. Cannot wait to see it at nighttime. have here it's got the two sinks a large soaking tub a shower and a separate toilet closet and then it has a TV
We just finished our meal up here at the Irish Pub. Food was delicious. Uh, we had a great server. Her name is Lexi. You need to pop in and check this place out. It is just outside Mandalay Bay. Uh, we got the egg sandwich with home fries, which was delicious. And Mike got that skillet with the home fries that was all in the bottom of it, lots of onions. It was delicious as well. He did share it with me. get something at home but there are plenty of places here to shop in addition to the walkway over to Luxor there's lots of shopping the sports book here is huge you must check it out one show and the tickets start at $69 and then also uh, they have a store here that you can purchase merchandise from.
All right, well, it is time for us to check out of the Delano and give you my thoughts and opinions on this property. So we came down to this end of the property, or sorry, the strip, the south end of the strip, because we wanted to see why maybe this property or Mandalay Bay, Luxor, Excalibur, um, you just don't hear a lot of people booking because it's at the end of the strip because you are, you know, do have to walk quite a bit or travel on the tram to get to the strip. Uh, so we decided we would come down here and give it a try and um, I really enjoyed the hotel. So we stayed in the Delano, which is an all suite hotel attached to Mandalay Bay. Um, it has its own private check-in, it has its private valet service. It's uh, definitely uh, separate from Mandalay Bay. What connects it is going to be uh, the casino floor. Uh, I really enjoyed staying here. We got a beautiful uh, room that you got to see. The scenic view, we got the scenic suite, uh, was so pretty. Just the view at night, during the day, the entire time. It was just great to be able to look out and see this part of the strip and be able to see the mountains. I think when you come down here, you're gonna get less of that hustle and bustle of the strip. Didn't see a lot of homeless people. I didn't see people hustling for money, any of that down here. Uh, what I did see was more family down here more kids were here we saw lots of animals on the property uh, uh dogs uh we're here on the property uh very family friendly uh probably because it's right next door to the luxor and excalibur which are also family friendly hotels um just not a lot of party vibe down here so it's very relaxing very laid back just a different vibe than on the strip itself our room was very comfortable. Uh, I love the very the light the light color on on the walls and the decor and the couch and everything. It just makes the room even that much more welcoming and open. Really enjoyed that. Uh, the bed superb. This was probably one of the best night of sleep I've had in Vegas. Um, in a long time. Uh, the bed was just comfortable. The room was comfortable. You're able to uh, adjust the control on uh, the temperature for your uh, the AC or the heat, whichever you want. Everything was great. The, the bathroom was exactly what we needed and wanted and it had the nice soaking tub which we were able to take advantage of. Um, now let's just kind of talk about downstairs. So put this aside, let's set aside the fact uh, the Delano is a uh, sweet hotel connected to Mandalay Bay. They do share that casino floor. So the casino floor is very large, but that's gonna be deceiving because you're gonna think that there's a lot of machines down there and lot, uh, multiple things to choose from. And I really just didn't see a whole lot of the, the, the multiple different types of games that you see at other casinos that they have to offer. And I think because the floor is so big, they just have them spread out more. So it does look like it's a larger casino, but it has less games in it. They just have the, the all the machines spread out. Um, here, you're gonna get the, the Michael Jackson One Show. They've got the Shark, uh, Shark Reef Habitat Aquarium. They have a nice food court. Uh, they have a wonderful, wonderful pool, has the lazy river. I think during the summertime, again, family geared, I think that's perfect to come down here. And uh, if you're gonna stay here and you wanna go to the strip, you're just gonna jump on the tram here uh, at the Mandalay Bay. It is gonna take you to uh, Excalibur. From Excalibur, you would get off and walk over to New York, New York. New York. You're gonna be kind of more on the strip at that point, and then there's more uh, avenues for transportation and whatnot. Um, so overall, I, I did enjoy this property. I loved the hotel, the room itself. Uh, I did not actually enjoy um, the casino. I didn't like the way that the floor was laid out. I didn't like the games that they had to offer. Uh, table bedding was $25. It was just very expensive. And I, even for you know a weeknight, $25 to play is, in my opinion, kind of expensive. I miss those $5 days, I'm sure everybody does. Um, but would I stay here again? I would just for the comfort of this hotel. Um, it's just not something for gambling. They had lots of uh, shopping here and can, they had a nice connected way into uh, the Luxor. They had shops, you could do shopping there. Lots of restaurants to choose from. Check-in was easy, you know, in and out, no problem. But again, it's, 
it's a private entrance right to get to this hotel so you're not standing in line for hours to check in uh, so that's kind of uh, my thoughts on this I loved it it was very comfortable um, would stay here again most definitely um, if you're not going to do a lot of gambling and you're bringing your family this is probably a really good choice because you're not in the hustle and bustle you're not your kids are not going to get exposed to um, the homeless that are out there on the street or the the gentlemen that are passing out cards or whatever uh, definitely a good spot for family 100 percent uh, south end of the strip we have now explored it i wanted to always come down here and stay so we definitely did that this time around uh, you guys had asked for this review so we you know we took it upon ourselves to come on down here uh, based on the feedback that we got on our facebook page so guys we really appreciate you guys for watching our videos for giving us the love and support please hit that subscribe button it helps our channel grow it helps it uh, to get into the algorithm and then more people will see our videos please hit that uh, thumbs up button if you're liking what we're seeing leave us a comment if you've got an idea of where you'd like for us to stay on our next visit to vegas um, here on the strip or outside the strip definitely let us know so we can put that on our agenda and get you a video out there uh, appreciate the support you guys and we will catch you next time when mike and april continue to do cool stuff